What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, AB the Hero. Back again with a, another video. And golly, we had to make this one. It's official. Like a referee with a broken whistle. Your main man, my main man, Leangelo Ball, will not be joining the Charlotte Hornets in camp this season. But we got more information. With my dude, AB the Hero. What's up? Well, we getting it down in the ball state, baby. Hey, hey. AB, hey, way to get out of the lane. Way to get out of the lane. What do you thought about that, Jay? I like that. Yeah, I told you, he's a, he's a hustle for it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm out. <laughs> All right, so thank y'all subbing to the channel, notification bell, and everybody who hit the like before the intro was done, you the real MVP. If I had a training camp, you would be riding with your boy. You, yes you, you would be on my squad, and I appreciate it. Channel has been growing. Yo, we, we've been trying to get to 15,000 subs for a little minute. If you're watching this video and you ain't sub, help your boy out, man, or you gonna get cut from the training camp. Now, here we go. It's official. Here is the training camp roster. At the top of that boy, you see number two should be number one, LaMelo Ball. For one, just to get things started, that's disappointing. Get my dog his number one jersey and stop playing. Now, if you like me, what you did is you say, okay, ooh, let's scan the list. Ooh, let's scan the list. And then you look, ah, scan it again. My eyes, you, you probably did this one. Ah, your eyes, scan the list. Ah, you did this, your eyes. And you notice what I noticed, your boy, Leangelo was not on the list. Now, I'll say this. I have been hyped since it was, came out that my dog was going to play in the summer league because I felt like that was the shot he needed to prove that he was a hooper and that he could do his thing on the NBA level. A lot of people told me they couldn't even play on the NBA level at all. Summer league would be... He held his own. He, people told me couldn't even do the G League. I have said since the beginning, I think the trajectory of what is happening with him is summer league he's got to go g league to show his consistency so that he can do it to show that everything that you love about his game he can do that over a bunch of games i said that in order for him to make the jump from summer league to the roster he was gonna have to go banan yocho eight ball was in the corner pocket first game it was looking like yo it's up and it's stuck Second game, it looked like it was up, but a lot of things, rotation. Folks were saying people weren't trying to give him the ball. In those few games after that first one, we realized that Summer League was only circulating, was only orbiting around Jello to the fans. The team, the organization was not making, let's see what Jello can do, a priority. We saw that which is why we're here now. The trajectory that makes the most sense for Jello is now go to the G League, hope, do your thing, and then hopefully get that call up. Now I've been saying, I've been, I've been on your favorite YouTubers pa panels and platforms and I've been saying that. However, I will say when folks started talking about, ooh, behind the scenes, the sources said, it's looking good, training camp is on the, your boy AB the Hero was just as excited. If we gonna skip some steps, let's skip some steps. I'm not one to say, yo, you got to do this the traditional way. I don't watch my boy LaMelo take the one-on-one -on -one rare path. So if you gonna open up the door and say, you know what, nepotism is real. Show us all how you feel. Then I am willing to make the deal. What we've seen, same thing. What we're hearing is that everything is not what it seems. 
here we are today. 2021 training camp roster officially announced on the Hornets platforms. You can see this here if you go check out their Twitters or if you go check out their Instagrams. Now, what I want to do for you all right now is, is, is let's do this because the people are speaking. And I wonder how much power the people have when you go here to the comment section, you see damn near 30,000 likes on this post. And, and now sometimes likes is just an acknowledgement that we have seen this, right? As we see here, the only Wallace liked the post, but we also see here in the comment section, my dog, the only Wallace say, y'all lame. You don't know the only Wallace, that's 10K. Shout out to 10K. You sub to his channel. Tell him I say, what's up? Tell him come rock with your boy AB over here. Where Jello at? Now, let's do this. Can I get a zoom in? Let's see if we can zoom in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's zoom one more time. Bam. Let's look at the comments. What are the people saying? Are the people as excited? As the Charlotte Hornets are about this decision, Ball Facts, y'all know him, right at the top. Training camp would have been bumping if D'Angelo Ball was invited. Sad face from SW Tip, Kim Jones Yui, that's my girl, she's been rocking with the channel for a minute now. Dream more workshop, just look at the comments, tell them, that's what we doing. You a Myri, swim, bike, that's my girl. She's been rocking with the channel for a minute now. I tell y'all, the audio was a little crazy for a minute. She had sent me a little recorder boy, and I was like, yo, thank you. I appreciate you. So literally rocking with the channel. OG Rafa, man, rocking. Come on, man. I, this is also one thing I appreciate about folks. Uh, Instagram, obviously, they, they know who to put up here, so you recognize who you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did Jello dirty. Best player on the summer league team and he can't even get an invite to training camp. People is pissed off. Y'all so lame. Where Jello at? Where's Jello? Was looking for the second ball boy. No Jello! Shake my head. No Jello. We want Jello. L. Jello. Sign Jello. Robert Ball. Where's Jello? Jello. Where's Jello? DJ Carton over Jello! Why is Cody Martin on the roster? No Jello, no Jello, no Jello. So now y'all can get on with it. He not on the training camp roster. I'm kind of glad so he can't take all his fans with him. Y'all not Hornet fans, y'all ball fans anyway. Boog, big hundo Lockett. He calling us out. You're right. We hype about Jello playing for the Hornets. The Hornets want that bread. Do the right thing. Hey man. Beauty. Still no Jello. Huge L. Y'all are never going to hear to the end of this. Jello ball sign. Jello. Jello better, better than half these folks. Where the fuck is Jello? The comments keep rolling. Bro, where the fuck is Jello? Jello, Jello. Literally. My question for y'all is. If you the Charlotte Hornets, does this mean anything to you? Does this mean anything to you? Do you read this as an organization, administration, executive staff? And does this mean anything to y'all? Let me know in the comments. Do you care if you Michael Jordan? Are you looking at this and saying, damn, this a bag. This is money, 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 money. Jello, people want to see Jello. We can't get him in the training camp. What's going on? Do you call Mitch Cupcake? Mitch, are you on Instagram right now? The people are speaking. How do you feel? Mitch, Michael, you know, uh, we was trying to put the roster together to get the best team possible. If you Michael Jordan, are you saying DJ Carden? Mitch, you're trying to put the best team possible on the court and you got DJ Carden in camp? Mitch, Xavier Sneed? Best team possible? It costs money. This ain't free lunch. Midge, give me James. Hey Jordan, this James. James, this 
This is Michael Jordan, MJ. What's going on? I'm on Twitter and people are tripping out right now. Oh, Michael, oh, why they tripping? Cause Jello ain't on the roster. How did that happen? I watched him hoop in the summer. I thought you told me he was electrifying. I watched you snicker and laugh in the press conference. James, are you still there? I don't hear you. <gasps> Michael, I told, that's just what I'm saying. Tell me, do it matter? You go over to Twitter. You scroll down here. Now Twitter is, I, it's interesting because I feel like Twitter is more of a, is a jello, mm, we don't know vibe than Instagram was. The first one, motherfuckers genuinely think jello gonna help us this season. Here's my thoughts. I don't think is this is the season. I don't think you bring jello in this season and he help you. The same way Steph Curry or Seth Curry, he was over in Golden State in a Santa Ana Cruz League. He didn't help them right away. But over time, the game started to develop for Seth Curry, and now you put him on your squad and he gonna help you. If you the Hornets, you get an opportunity to not fumble the bag. You already been lucky. You got an opportunity to be, what's beyond lucky? Blessed. Be blessed. Let the Lord, he putting the oil on your forehead and you ain't even, you wiping it off. Be proud, walk around with the oil on your forehead. You got the ash on him, for like it's wet. Come on, man, that's all I'm saying. No, Jello ain't coming stands, okay. No, Leangelo Ball. Yeah, there's some behind the scenes reason. Something cause he definitely good enough to be there. G League maybe. I think it's the G League. I would love to see him go make that move down there. I think that that's a great thing. Here before the no Jello comments come, imagine the PR and love you would have gotten if Jello was on the roster. We don't give up about PR and love. We trying to win basketball games. Jello fans crying real. See, this is what I'm saying. Over here on Twitter, they more, I want to say anti-Jello, but they more, it's a different vibe. It's a different feeling. Pick your lane. If you don't, if you ain't really digging with it, go to the follow horns on Twitter. If you really rocking with Jello and Lamelo, go ahead and follow them on Instagram. You'll see what you gotta see. I'm traveling all the way to Miami to watch them play this preseason. Can't wait to unfollow in a few years once Melo leaves. <laughs> People already ready to go ahead and get up out of there. Opportunity to make lifetime fans, it seems like. Slipping out of your hands. It's interesting to see how this will eventually play out. I think that if they do make the move, circle back and allow my dog into training camp. I'm not training camp, but on that Greensboro squad, because they just hired a new Greensboro coach. They ain't played basketball in the Greensboro in a minute. And if you look at this, to me, you see support. I see, damn, you mean two streams of income? If we get Jello up in Greensboro, we damn near be rivalry making on a night in, night out basis. Something like we would be doing on a regular. That Jello Greensboro jersey throwback? We ain't never even sold. A G League jersey. Maybe that's in the. I think that that's what's coming down the pipeline. Now, there's a lot of other stories coming out here. Uh, maybe it was the BBB. Jello was trying to do too much and this stuff. And folks are going to start pouring that information out of y'all. And some of it may be true. Some of it may be just speculation. But to me, I'm going to wait and see. I'm gonna let it play out because I've said this before. If you would have asked Jello before summer league started, hey bro, we got a spot for you this year on the G League squad. Do you want it? He would say, hell yeah. If you would have went back, when I seen Jello and Lamelo play head to head in New Orleans, and I was with Coach Doyle and he talked to Jello, Jello was like, shit, I'm hype. We going to the G League bubble. He was ready for the bubble. Didn't happen, but he would have took that bubble. And so I see a lot of these fans here upset, but what I'm telling you is, your man Jello happy somewhere. 
if he can get in that G League, he gonna be good with it. And if he like it, I love it. Shemay 